Hi right there, um, little uh, bonus video. I just had a delivery, I've been waiting for for a while. Um, Chinese Post, a um, couple of, um, if you're doing some electronics, obvious, obvious stuff, uh, these will probably help you out a little bit. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Um, what we've got is a couple of um, variable resistors effectively let's just open one up um, put one on. I've got two I put one to one side um, right just gonna open the box pack it okay all right there so we have it let's get rid of that right so uh, they call these various things um, decade boxes and all sorts of stuff uh, this is just a cheap version of it um, basically jumpers you've got uh, different ranges um, times 1 meg times 100k times a 10k let's put it under the USB so you can have a look hold on a second right so what we've got let's see if the focus is okay it'll do so you got your you got your 1 meg over here sorry 1 meg 100k, 10k, times 1k, 100 ohm, 10 ohms, and 1 ohm. So basically, um, instead of if you're designing a bit of a prototype on breadboard or anything like that, I'm just going to switch back to the other one. Yeah. Um, you haven't got to bother trying to find the right resistor, so they're handy to have. You wouldn't use it in your final um, testing, but. Um, it's all right just to try try a few things out. So basically, what I'm going to do is hook up uh, a meter, it's third item down the left. I've got some crocodile clips here. It's already put it on on resist resistance on ohms already. Uh, two mega ohms, I think it's on. So uh, might need to go a bit higher actually. Let's let's go to the next one up. Let's go to 20 mega ohms. I'm just going to stick this on there. I never tried one of these yet. Just uh, I thought I'd give it a try. Let's hope we don't get a short on it. Otherwise, we won't be showing, proving a lot at all. Right, what we got? Nothing showing up at the minute because we're on zero on the selection. So if I just see if we've got anything, I'm just going to stick this jumper. Just going to move the jumper on to um, one mega. Well, we got nothing. <laughs> Doing well. Hang on. Let's go a bit down here a bit. Let's have a look. Ah, that's good. Let's take these glasses off. Can't see. Hang on. Oh, I'm on the plastic, that's why. Crimped, crimped onto the plastic. These prongs are a bit close together. If you're trying to do um, crocodile. So what we got? Yeah, no, nothing. So we've got nine mega ohms there. That's interesting. I don't know how this works. Seven decade programmable wrist resistor board. It's not showing you a very good view, is it? Let's see if I can get a better view over here. So it's not a very good view. Sorry about that. You know, see, I'm not getting anything out of it at the minute. Let me just... Uh, this is a fail, isn't it? <laughs> this is a fail. Anyway, it's... Um, so we're on 9, 9, 9, 9, all the way across the board. So let's unplug one. Oh, hang on. We're showing what we're showing now. It was on mega ohms there. I touched it and it seemed to go on up. Let's just put that onto there. We're still on mega ohms. So maybe you've got to put these on zero. One kilo ohms is a thousand ohms. Yeah, one mega ohms. So I don't know what the hell's going on here. Don't think I'm shorting out now. Am I still on the plastic? Maybe. 
yeah, still on the plastic, can you believe that? These pens could be doing with further apart really, or some little jumpers, some DuPont females on it and then coming off it a different way. Anyway, the, these are a bit awkward, you want to swap swap these out for the ones with the little tabs on so you can pull them off quicker. Mm. I'll probably do that. So we've got Mega Arm still. <laughs> well. Hmm. I don't quite know what's going on here. So we're on nine. Maybe put it on zero or take it off altogether. Let's just take it off. Take these off. Just gonna take them off the jumpers so they're only on one jumper, just placeholders. Right, so what we got? Got something, haven't we? Oh. So these are a bit awkward, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, swap these out for um not getting anything out of it there. <laughs> what are we doing wrong here? <laughs> oh. What's that? Just going off the scale there. Right, that's a weird one. Nothing. Try it lower. No. I'll tell you what. I'll put put it on. Tw I'll put it on two hundred meg. Tw two meg ohms. So we're on two meg ohms. Let's give it. Um, right. Let's give it times. Let's make a ten k resistor. So one times ten k. Okay. So that's a ten k resistor according to that. It's not showing me 10k though. Let me just short them out. What we got? Yeah, so we could put put it back on. So we've got no short. This doesn't seem to be working, does it? Hmm. Ah, oh, maybe you've got to select. Zero, yeah. I think you've got to. You've actually got to put the jumpers onto zero if you don't want. You can't just pull them off. You've got to stick them onto zero. Yeah, here we go. We're getting some up now slowly. So if I put that onto zero, the ones I don't want. All right. So I'm just selecting. That's it. So what have I got now? Three hundred amps. Just put that onto zero. I want 10k, so let's say 1k. I want a 1k resistor. Here we go. Right, that's on 1k now. It's showing 1k in it. Switch the meter to um, 200k. 20k. Ah, oh, that's uh, 2k. Yeah, so that's that's reading right now. So let's go back on to 2 mega ohms. Yeah, we're on two mega ohms range. So I'm going to put this one, I'll leave that one there. I'm going to select uh, two mega ohm range. If I put this onto one meg, I should get one meg, one K. What we got? Nearly one meg here. All right, let's give it, uh, let's move the one K up. Let's have a eight K. Let's make an 8K2 resistor. 8K, 8K2. Right, so we've got an 8, uh, 1 meg 8K2. Not showing very good on that range. Let's go to a next range down. It's over scale. Go up a scale. Hmm. Too, too high the meg, isn't it? Let's get rid of the, the meg. Alright, we're going on to 100k. 
I'll leave them all off. Uh, that should give me 8K2 now if I get onto the right scale. Yeah. Try that one. Yeah, so it's 8.116 ohm. So if I just put um, another 10 ohms on top of that, see if that works. Put a single 10 ohm on it. Didn't seem to do a lot. Right, let's move it up again. Up. That didn't seem to do a lot. Maybe it's my scale. On. So let's move this one up. 8K2, let's go to 8K4. Yeah, 8K. If you look in the top left hand corner, the blue, the blue meter, third one down. Yeah, so can, it does work. So let's 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 do another. Let's do a 4K seven. So we're going to go 4K and seven. Here we go. These are awkward. You're going to want to change these out for the ones with the little tabs, so you can reach them. I'll, go, oh, I'll find some of them out. So that's 4K seven. So you could get exactly the right value if you want to. If you want to incorporate your lead resistance, everything. Um, so let's just jump that up a bit. Let's come up here and see if we can get a 4K7 out of it. Yeah, just drop the uh, phone. Sorry about that. Okay. It's got this um, Microsoft phone. Been playing up a bit. Right. Uh, yeah. So, you've got 4K7, you can play around it. So basically, um, you've got to, when you get it, they're all on. I'll spring it over to you a minute. I'll show you a bit of a close-up view of it. So, so when it comes out the packet, you're, you're all on, um, all the jumpers are on down here, on the nines. They're all on the nines here. So in order to get it to work, you've got to move them all up to the zeros. So you put them all onto zeros, like the top of there, like that, like them two. And then you just move these ones, so that's 4K7. So four lots of 1K, seven lots of 100 ohms, 4K7. And the odd uh, 10 ohm, I've got eight ohms on there, so it will make a lot of difference. So effectively, you can cover um, nine nine meg. So nine 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 nine. So yeah, cover a fair old amount. So I've got a couple of them. I thought they're only cheap. Um, so I thought let's just um, let's get a couple of them in case you might need two in circuit at once. So. Uh, they're not too bad, but like I say, I would uh, change out the uh, these ones. They're a bit fiddly to pull out, you know, to, to pull them out. A bit fiddly. I've got some different jumpers somewhere with the little tabs on. I haven't got one to hand, obviously. Uh, or have I? No, I haven't got one to hand. But I'll replace them for those type, and then you can pull them off easy. Uh, that's basically it. So it's a load of jumpers. There's not much to see. Uh, it came off eBay. I think they're something silly, like a couple of couple of three pound each or something. Uh, there you go. Thought I'd show you that one. As soon as it just came this morning. Okay, that'll do. Bye bye.